All That Heaven Allows is a really beautiful film. While I don't think I love it as much as a lot of people do, for example, it's got an overall rating of 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb across 13,000 reviews. While I wouldn't give it quite so high a rating personally, I do thoroughly enjoy it, and I think the message is something that we can still benefit from today. This was released in 1955, and it's directed by Douglas Sirk with a screenplay by Peggy Thompson, and it stars Jane Wyman and Rock Hudson. I think this was maybe my first Rock Hudson film, I think. And the description from IMDb is pretty decent, so I'll read this one out. This says, An upper-class widow falls in love with a much younger, down-to-earth nurseryman, much to the disapproval of her children and criticism of her country club peers. I think straight away this is blatantly obvious. It's about class division and love. And obviously money and status shouldn't dictate who you can and can't love. And obviously the film is about their relationship developing and other people having their say and telling them that it shouldn't work. And I think the thing I found with this, and I'm not going to say how it resolves itself, but I did think, will they stay together or will eventually their differences push them apart? And I I feel like it's not predictable. I feel like it could take any path at any moment. And I was really pleased that the outcome wasn't obvious and obviously I'm not going to divulge what it was, but... In the end, I feel like everything came together nicely. It didn't feel like it was a forced ending. It didn't feel overly, I guess, cliche or obvious. I was really happy with kind of how it all came together. And it really is beautiful. We have some gorgeous costumes in here. The narrative development is great. The pacing's fantastic. It actually could be longer. I believe it's about an hour and a half. But I feel like they could have actually done a little bit more with it. But that's not to say that it feels underdeveloped. I just feel like they could have gone even further but I really I really enjoyed the pacing of it and the development the characters are great their their own personal journeys feel really realistic and their actions feel really believable particularly with Carrie Scott played by Jane Wyman who is obviously high society and it's not like she just suddenly ignores her social peers she actually listens to them and she does realize that she is being judged for this and she's very conscious of that but she's also torn with her heart and maybe not even her heart and her head, just but she's torn between her heart and judgment. And Ron, played by Rog Hudson, is, is brilliant, very likable from the beginning. The costumes are gorgeous. The soundtrack didn't really stand out to me, but that also means that it wasn't bad. Everything about it is just either really beautiful or, you know, just decent enough. And I do thoroughly enjoy it. And I can see the importance of this. It's exceptionally prominent forever. You know, it's a film that will always be relevant and will always make you question things and will always make you think about society and class divisions. So 7.6 on IMDb, I can understand. I can absolutely understand why a lot of people love this film. For me, I'd give it maybe a 6, 6.5. It's not one of my favourites, but it is a film that I was wa- I would watch again. I think it's well worth watching. It's very poignant. It could make you think and question a lot. But at the same time, it's really it's just a really enjoyable film. Yes, it's important, but it's also entertaining. And, you know, as a drama, as a romance, I think it, it does very, very well for itself. It's very easy to like the characters. The protagonists are great. I guess the antagonists are the entire society. And and that's really quite an interesting concept. I like it. I definitely think All That Heaven Allows is one that you need to watch. It's very well done.